The airport authority of Trinidad and Tobago has confirmed that two persons were injured in an emergency landing today, Tuesday. In a release, the authority said flight training aircraft registration number 9YTJU experienced difficulty on approach for landing at runway 10 and made an emergency landing just northwest of Piaco International Airport. Two persons were retrieved from the aircraft, the instructor and a student pilot. The instructor and student pilot were transported to the Arima Medical Facility and are receiving medical attention. The Trinidad and Tobago Fire Service shared a video of the wreckage to their Facebook page. Small aircraft involved in a, a crash on the opposite side of the Caridy River. There's no leak, leakage or fuel from the aircraft at this time. I've circled the aircraft. No smell of any aviation fuel. The power has been cut on the aircraft. This is the aircraft involved. The incident happened at 9.48 a.m. Farmer Hemraj Lakan witnessed the incident as it unfolded. Mom, look, I'm still trembling. I thought I did. <laughs> that thing that's fly over is a little about my height over this. And you seen something coming and it are pulling and it are dancing, but it coming straight over the track. Mm -hmm. I thought I was a dead man. So you count on yourself lucky as well? Well, I have to be lucky to go through that. And the Civil Aviation is still investigating the exact cause of today's training flight crash. This from Director of Operations and Head of Training at the Aerial World Services Limited, Nigel Ramsahai. Mr. Ramsahai, who chatted with TTT News earlier, stood by the capability of both the plane and instructor aboard. The airplane is one of the safest airplanes in the world for training, and from what you can see, it is um, survivable. And in training, incidents and accidents do happen. And the instructor did an extremely good job on making sure they both walk out alive. The operations director also sought to dispel rumors about the training plane and level of injuries sustained. Well, one rumor said it was a Cessna aircraft. And to be honest with you, it's not a Cessna aircraft. It's a Diamond D-40 aircraft. People have also said rumors about spinal injuries. I guess that was somebody who overheard a conversation where the fire services, it is alleged, was just inspecting to ensure there were no injuries.